Who would have thought the first news I did for 2023 would be Indiana Jones action figure news? Well, it is. Roll the thing. Welcome to Use My Television, your home of Indiana Jones action figure news. We had a lovely live stream, which they refer to as the Hasbro Pulse Indiana Jones fan stream. Why they call it a fan stream? Why the hell not? Anyway, we got the usual suspects. There they are on screen, Patrick, Chris, and Eric, to tell us all about the new lineup. Let's get into them all. They did start off talking about some Monopoly game, when they, uh, Monopoly. Showed us this kid's role playing whip action. <laughs> Pretty cool. And a 12 inch indie that kind of harkens back to the old school indie, you know, the one with the funny floppy looking hat. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that, but different kind of packaging. This one talks, has a few sound effects. Very nice. But the first thing they talked about is this, the world of adventure. It's the kids line. They are banking on kids watching this new movie, Dial of Destiny, and getting involved in the old stuff. You know, go back and introduce your kids to, remember when we were kids, we watched this? So hopefully it'll, because everything in the old days where they dropped a film, all the toys were for kids. Now us kids are old and we buy the toys and the kids are like, I want to play Fortnite. Hopefully this movie's good. For the love of God! We'll just wait and see. Let's get into it. Kids line. They had Indiana Jones with Adventure Backpack. Comes with a boulder spider, idol snake, fire stick, etc. The backpack's so big it actually holds him up so he doesn't fall over. So <laughs> there's that. They also showed the new character, Helen Shaw, riding a motorcycle. Very nice. You will know that actress as L337. Is that her from Solo? She was in a Star Wars movie. Now she's in Dial of Destiny. Indiana Jones with a horse. He had a horse back in the day. We hope to see that come to the retro line eventually, but here it is in the kids' line. Dr. Jorgen Voller with the plane. Now also this actor here was in Rogue One as Jin Erso's dad, Galen Erso. Then we got Indiana Jones with a motorcycle and a sidecar. This is a basic line, getting the kids involved, We'll see how it works. Is it three and a half inches? Maybe it's two and a half inches. I don't know. It's the kids line. Let's move on to retro. Retro collection. This is what gets me. This is the interesting part of the thing to me. I love this. Bubbles. We're going to see the card backs. We're going to see the bubbles just like old school stuff. I don't have any of the kind of stuff from back in the day of any of the Indiana Jones lines. So this is my opportunity to collect the line. I hope they replicate every single figure ever made and add a few more as well. I will collect them all. If they, and just please, Hasbro, cardstock, thick. I want thick. <laughs> Said that in a very New Zealand accent. I don't want that flimsy retro stuff that we've got now. Yes, I do collect all of them, but I just want some quality there. I want it to last, you know, more than five minutes. Please, when it comes out, nice, thick cardstock. Let's get into the character selection. Indiana Jones, we have seen him before. We're excited about him. He has that little broad stance, just like he did. Fun fact about these, Mr. Stevie's own figures were scanned to create these, as he said on his Instagram. Interesting. There's also Marion Ravenwood, the only action figure in the world that comes with a lace dress, and this recreation of her many, many years later in the lace dress with the monkey Excellent. They weren't going to update the uh, card back because that's exactly how it looked in the old days. If you're ever wondering why the card back looks so terrible, it was terrible back then. It's still terrible today. Maybe they'll do a newer one with a lovelier picture of her. Then we've got our classic bad guy tote. Can't go wrong with him. The German mechanic. They said about this uh, card back that they showed with the German mechanic. It's a behind the scenes photo, they didn't have access to it. So they, they took a card back and scanned it and cleaned it up and it is that image we see on this modern day version of the German mechanic. Very nice. Belloc. Belloc the very first time available to the public on a card back. Yes, there is card backs out there. There's probably about, I don't know, a dozen of them or so. Extremely rare. They're salesman samples that they went door to door or to 
bloody shops and say, would you like to buy these figures? And this one's on a card back that never was on a card back. He came in a grubby little white box. A mail away figure, as you will. For this retro collection, we'll put the information on the screen there. Available at most major retailers. US, Canada, UK, France, Germany, Austria, Spain, Italy. I don't see Australia. Australia, 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 we love you, baby! It will be available, I believe, someplace in Australia, but nothing yet for Retro Collection. As soon as I get some information about that, we'll let you know here in Australia. We want to collect these as well. The Adventure Series line. We've showed early in other videos these exclusive ones they have lined up here. The Indiana Jones Club Obi-Wan. It is a Target exclusive. They said this is the robust line, the, the, the meaty line. The line they're putting the most, well, money into. They want this to sell hotcakes. That's what they want out of this. They don't have any building the arc like the first wave. These ones come with more accessories. And with this version of Club Obi-Wan, you'll get the antidote, an urn, the skewer of chickens, a sword, and a diamond. Very cool. I've put a lot of thought into this, making it value for money by putting lots of accessories rather than just chuck the figure in and say, uh, full price. Here's a quick shot of the side of the box featuring six characters. Another character that is a Walmart exclusive in the US and Canada is Walter Donovan. His accessories include a gun, the grail, or the mock grail, the zombie head, and a broken tablet. You will know this character from Star Wars as General Fears. Professor Indiana Jones, a Walmart exclusive in the US and Canada once again. His accessories include the Sir Richard Shield, the leg bone torch fire stick thing, the wrapped Grail Diary. Also, they mentioned in this live stream that the wrapped diary will be unwrapped in a later version of an upcoming figure. Interesting. And Pipeline Reveals. Pipeline Reveals have been very popular in every franchise now that Hasbro has. And they showed us Indiana Jones Temple of Doom version. Very cool. That picture on the bridge. Maybe they'll show him with like the, the ripped up shirt and that. We'll see how that figure looks. Short Round. Excellent stuff. Perhaps because he's going to be a smaller size figure, they will drop a few accessories in his packet. And the hypnotized Indiana Jones. This is an interesting one. I wasn't expecting this, but okay. The Dial of Destiny figures, which will drop around the same time as the film drops of Indiana Jones and Helena Shaw. My final thoughts on this. It looks interesting. I wish they'd mentioned Australia. I just wish we got some sort of, hey, it's available in your country. Go and get it. Good day, mate. <laughs> Let's put another shrimp on the barbie. There are a few online retailers out there selling it, so you guys here in Australia, go and check out, just do a Google search, do Indiana Jones Adventure Series, Indiana Jones Retro Collection, see what's available in our neck of the woods. Uh, the only one that I really was like, eh, was the hypnotized one, but obviously we haven't seen it. Maybe once we see the action figure, we might go, oh yes, but they seem to be doing everything right that I can see so far. I don't know how well the kids line is going to sell. It's kind of like the Mission Fleet stuff. Yeah, how well does that sell in Star Wars? How well is this stuff with all the... What is it called again? How well is it going to sell to kids? Kids have got to be invested in the film to be wanting the action figures so they understand what it's all about. Let me know your thoughts as well down in the comments what character you thought they have done the best. Uh, Club Obi-Wan, you know. <laughs> Schmick looking character. Professor One. Donovan and also obviously retro collection for me because the Marion Ravenwood. Try and buy that on eBay, old school, on a card back. <laughs> yes, very expensive. Thank you for watching. My name is Usual Mike. This has been Indiana Jones Action Figure News. Don't forget to support the channel with all the links down in the description down below. Leave a like, drop a comment, share this video, tell your friends about it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All the best.